I just want to talk a little bit about something that I faced uh, over two decades ago, and that was uh, accepting a, a journey to really discover true spirituality versus organized religion or uh, uh, the matrix. Matrix, mm -hmm. the matrix. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're experiencing? Because uh, we spoke a little, uh, uh, quite in depth of this. I, I guess that's why I get the name Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we spoke quite a bit about this. And can you tell us a little bit about your spiritual journey? Sure, sure. Maybe about three or four years ago, I had a spiritual awakening. Uh, I went through the dark night of the soul. I had to uh, look at myself on a lot of things and look at how I was living and, and what I was getting from it. Um, a lot of things that I learned and went through, I didn't know anything about it. Let me be frank and be real with you, if I could be real with the people. Be real. I was raised in a way where material things mattered. I was raised in a way where the more you get, the happy that you would be, the more happy you would be. Well, what happened is once you get those things, you come to the realization of, and then what? You know, as men, we get the big house, we get the big truck, we get the, the commercial wife, if you will. We get all the toys, we get the business, we get the jobs, the careers. But then what happens at that point? I reached that point. I had the look, I had the, the, the tone, the everything, you know. But then it hit me like, okay, and now what? And that's what I went through. And I had to do some reflection on myself and ask myself, is this what I want for the rest of my life? Because I felt I had plateaued. Some may call it a middle age crisis. Some may call it a new beginning. But I went through that phase and, and I realized that I need to change path. And it hurt to, to, to look at yourself and realize, hey, it's more to life than just riding big or living big or lifting all these heavy weights just to get pat on your back type of or, ordeal. Once I went through that and realized I need to change, I changed some things, <laughs> some serious things in my life changed, but now I'm better for it as a man internally. I'm better for it and I know that my kids would be uh, better have a more high quality life than I would just kept on that charade of just trying to look good and not have any real substance. Now, Basically, how being, long ago was that? Did, about how many years ago? You that said? was about maybe three to four years ago. Where would you say you were on this path? The beginning, the middle, towards the end? Wow, I was I'm in the middle. I mean, I think the whole thing is a journey. I don't think you complete the journey. I think you go through different phases Absolutely. of the journey. Absolutely. So you know, I'm not walking around here in a in a gown and all that stuff. Um, I think that it's different phases of it. And I think the, the real people would tell you that, you know, there's highs and lows and you're going to lose friends because they don't understand you. Because remember, they are low vibrational people. <laughs> and I had a man to call me. I was the king of low vibrational people and things. And now I understand that, you know, so you're going to lose those those friends. You're going to lose some of those family members that think that you should have kept your house or kept your trucks and all that stuff. But then you're going to gain some high quality people that's going to fulfill you in a much uh, more fulfilling uh, manner. What about, uh, was it exceptionally hard for you? Because I understand getting to know each other. You came from a, a rigorous uh, religious background. Your father was a... Uh Pastor. Pastor, yes. Yes, in yes. two churches, right? Yeah, yeah, multiple churches, two churches. Yes. Was that was that exceptionally tough for you, that part of it? Well, you know, it was very difficult. Uh, when you're raised in that environment, um, a lot of stuff is uh, belief systems, you know. And when you're going against your belief system, you question everything, and it's scary because you don't want to misstep, and you don't want to go down the, the, a very bad, dark road. But you're already on a very bad, dark road. You just don't know it. So it was very difficult to, to, to authentically look at myself and say, hey, am I doing what I know is right or am I doing what someone told me is right? Mm -hmm. And once I started looking at these people and those organizations and they not growing in a positive way, I had to say, hey, that's not for me. That's not going in the way I would want it to go. So I had to start doing my own research and my, and my own meditations and get my hands in, digging in, find out what is real and then what is fluff. And once I started learning what is fluff, 
Then I start going a different direction. You start going a different direction. Then a lot of the fluff, people, places, and organizations will fall apart. <laughs> Was it exceptionally hard for you because of the fact that um, generally you're not supposed to be looking outside the prescribed realm? Well, was it more difficult for you than it would be the average person, let's say, that's less less adapt to an organized belief? Or it was very difficult for me um, when you have to change like that, and and the people around you, they're not going to accept you. You're going to be the the black sheep of the family. But what I learned was I was the black diamond of the family, and and I didn't realize the, my value uh, because they was less informed on what they thought they knew. And when you question certain people on the uh, teachings that they're teaching you, um, it ends really quickly because they're not educated enough on that subject to give you an informed answer. I appreciate that. Hey, I want to end this on a, on a note here. If, let's say, some of your friends, strangers, were to ask Dave, Dave, what is it I need to do to look at other options in my life? Because clearly I'm not satisfied with, like you said, the big truck and the big house. And you, you said trophy wife or something yeah, like that. Yeah, commercial wife. Commer Guys commercial know what I'm talking about that been there. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, you see, I'm, I'm a little outdated with this. You know, Barry's just a dumb old married guy here 22 years. That's married, awesome, man. man. You need to write a book on it. Yeah, you, well, you met my wife. And She's you awesome. <laughs> Leanne is awesome. Great cook. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you're still losing weight. Yeah, still losing it, man. It's uh, awesome. But, but what, what kind of, not advice, that's a strong word, but what mm -hmm. kind of suggestion could you be people questioning? I meet thousands of people yes. in questioning. I do. Yes. You know that. Mm -hmm. You've seen some of the people. You see, you know, you you know, this thing is it's been uh, uh, the why why I do this is I love. I don't care of the different beliefs. I love the fact that we help so many mm -hmm. that didn't know each other before us, yes. and they can go back into their own belief systems is fine, but but we've brought them together and they're happier in this environment and that's all the peace i need mm -hmm. you know uh what what suggestions can you give people that are that are afraid you know or looking for things but they like you said they don't know where to look absolutely uh, can you is, i know it's a good question i will tell you what i did on my journey is first of all i ask myself the hard questions is what i'm doing is it serving me in a positive way um I would also say, you know, the people that is in my circle, are they serving me in a positive way? Uh, mm -hmm. Are they using me for their benefit? Those are some serious questions you need to ask yourself. Do things that can raise your own personal vibration frequency. Um, it's going to be some hard questions, and you might not like the answers that you get from it. You know, it's kind of like um, if you stand in front of a mirror all of a sudden, and you've always seen yourself with clothes on, and now you see yourself with no clothes on, uh, ladies with no makeup on, you know, guys, your, your jacket is not tailored and all that stuff. You know, it might not be the same look that you would have if you go going to a gala. So you have to be real with yourself and ask yourself some tough questions. At this point in my life, am I moving forward or I'm complacent and standing still? Once you get to that point, you need to start reaching out to different people, not the circle that you know, not family, because they cut from the same cloth. Mm -hmm. You need to go into other circles and see what they're doing, uh, see uh, the results that they're doing. Uh, you may need to change your eating habits, um, uh, eat more live food. You know, that helps raising your vibration. Um, being in a, in a good smelling, clean air environment, that raises your, vib uh, your vibration. Um, stop watching the, the local news. That's lower your vibration. You know, you got to put yourself in a situation to allow yourself, if you will, to, to, to grow. And then I would say, look at some YouTube channels. There's some stuff on YouTube that will help raise your vibration. Uh, look at some affirmations. Um, connect with some positive, um, maybe YouTube, uh, not YouTube, um, Facebook groups that's doing something positive, not gossip groups, that's doing something positive. Get your passport. By all means, especially fellas, get your passport. Go see some other people. See how they're living. See how they're thinking. You know, open up your horizons and see some other things that will make you want to to move. Because if you keep doing the same thing, you get what you always get. And a lot of times it'll lead to, to a lot of stress. Uh, 
Words well said. Words well spoken. Well, I've lived this stuff, Barry, so <laughs> I didn't read a book. I read lived live this stuff. So. Yeah, you headed up the chapter of life. Don't let this happen to you, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And, guys, sometimes it's going to hurt. When you go through this stuff and, and, and you're on a spiritual journey and when you realize that your life is more, it's going to hurt. I'm going to tell you the truth. It's going to hurt. As, as a big guy, as they say, grande guy here, um, it's going to hurt when you realize that a lot of stuff you was doing was just for not. You know, a lot of stuff I have back in the States, I don't need it or want it here. I have no need for it. I see guys here with much less and far more happier than I was in the States. You know, I personally, I've seen people like Benjamin Button, you know, like the older they get, the younger they, they feel here. In the States, you're, you're old and early. I've had friends to pass away from broken heart syndromes, um, diabetes, had a friend that died in uh, Brazil, you know, because he had a stroke, you know, he was in the mid forties. I mean, that's crazy because he was going back and forth from the States to Brazil. But when he was in Brazil, he was very comfortable. But what I'm saying is you gotta find you somewhere where you can get a peace of mind and, and where you can just breathe and be whoever you want to be, not who they want you to be. You know, you don't have to wear the best of whatever type of designer clothes to be you. You don't have to have the best look or the best whatever, best jewelry. Take all that stuff off and then just be you. And you can do that here, I, I'm seeing in the DR. Much better. <laughs> Much better. Much better. One last thing and then we're going to cut camera. And that is for me to separate from the low frequencies of gossip, whether it's true, or not true, things like that. For me, it was probably the most difficult break coming from a, uh, a family that wanted me to be in a, an organized uh, study, mm -hmm. uh, being educated in uh, my younger years over in, in Jerusalem for mm -hmm. that. For me, the hardest thing to accept was almost everything I was taught, not on purpose, but almost everything I was taught was wrong. Mm. Is that a hard thing? Was that is that hard for you to accept as it was for me? It was extremely hard. Um, you know what you know. And if all you know that a tree is a tree, then that's a tree. But when you realize the tree was really an ocean, you know, you're going to try to justify, hey, no, that got to be a tree. It could be a tree. But I would tell anybody is have an open mind. If you really want to know the truth about something, don't go in with the angle. Go in with the open mind. And don't be afraid of the results. If it do not get you back to where you started from, then congratulations. That's good. Mm. And if it does get you back to where you started from, then you have confirmation in what you know is, is, is correct. But definitely go in with an open mind to whatever you're trying to do. And I guarantee you, at least in the end, you'll have confirmation and you'll have peace about it. Dave, I want to... Thank you for sharing that with the folks out, out on our YouTube channel. And I know it will raise some questions for some. For some, it may even provide answers. And in any event, I just want to thank you for taking your time. It, it's been, uh, I can't believe it's almost two weeks. Dude. Wow, it flew by, man. It, it flew it, by. It, it's been, uh, I think we both learned from each other. Oh, I learned a lot from you, man, and, and the locals around. It's been really great. Yeah. It's been really great. And I must say one other thing is, there is another option outside of the United States or Europe or any Western society. There's an option outside the matrix. Now, I'll say with this one last thing. Sure. Don't be afraid to jump, people. There's other people out there that's doing the same thing you're doing, like I'm doing, like Barry's done, other people. You will connect with other vibrational people on your frequency when you go to these different places. Don't be afraid. They're not like your family. They're not like your, your friends. When you go to these other places, you will meet other good people that want to see you succeed, that want to see you happy, that will help you in getting these things. DRA escapes. There's a lot of avenues out here. Just don't sit there in your house, in your truck, or in the parking lot afraid to just jump and do something different. Time, don't wait on time. Just do it. Just jump. And you'll be a much happy, better person because I'm telling you people, there's a much better option outside the matrix. Guys, this is Barry and Dave from DR Escapes and something feels wrong. And till next time.
Dave, thanks a lot, bud. Thanks so much, bro. Thanks for having me. Been a pleasure. Awesome. Bye.